said it couldn't be done. A YouTube channel specifically focused on Bruce Timm's DC animated universe. There's not a big enough audience, they said. You'll run out of content, they said. Well, here we are at video number 100, baby. And I can think of no better way to celebrate than with a look back at the top 10 baths in the DCAU. Run out of content, will we? Yeah! No top baths list would be complete without a subtle psycho reference, right? In this Batman Beyond episode, Terry is on the hunt for psycho assassin Kirare, but she strikes first when she stumbles upon Batman's high school friend Max in her Target's hotel room. Max realizes she can't escape, so she hides in the bathtub, somehow avoiding the attacks of a skilled killer trained in ancient martial arts. Will Batman make it back in time to save her? Probably. Nice! Alfred Pennyworth is Bruce Wayne's wacky butler, taking care of him since childhood when Bruce's parents were tragically murdered in an alleyway. But that didn't stop little Brucey from putting on a bat costume and scaring the bad guys. Even Batman needs a pick-me-up once in a while though, and on April Fool's Day, Alfred certainly stepped up to bat. Whoa! Careful what you wish for, Master Wayne. Hey! We all remember high school, the craziest time of our lives, and PE class was no exception. When it comes to awkward situations, the locker room takes the cake. Or in this case, the... Um... Okay, I got really tired of writing in this style at this point, and I don't have a good joke, but look, this one's about the time when Willie Watt pretended to be a ghost, and he turned on all the hot water in the girls' locker room, and like, it's, it's barely a bath, but hey, you made it this far. Okay, James, I'll take it from here. Seven! Our next bath begins with a home invasion. When Mr. Freeze barges into Wayne Manor, he looks for a way to hurt Bruce, so he turns Alfred into a popsicle. After the villain retreats, Alfred is moved to the Batcave and treated to a chemical bath in a jacuzzi that looks more high-tech than a nuclear fusion engine, but it's surprisingly soothing and not at all unpleasant, which is great because Alfred has to stay in it for a while. When Tim Drake wants to help, Robin is sent on a mission for a cup of tea with honey and lemon and cookies. The butler becomes the butlered. As the Queen of Almorac, Maxima has access to annual handbooks with limitless information. Oh, that's an almanac? Well, in any case, Maxima still lays claim to a royal bath chamber where she enjoys soaking in suds and watching live TV from anywhere in the universe. Though, she keeps her eyes peeled on Superman, who she decides to marry based off that footage alone. Be careful if you're one of Maxima's bathmaids, though, because if you brush her hair wrong and she finds one split end, you will quickly be brushing the horses in the stables instead. Five! After a greasy battle with Brimstone, Stone, Green Arrow desperately needed a shower to wash off the radiation burns. When he steps out of the newly constructed Watchtower's airlock tight shower doors, wearing nothing but a towel and his domino mask, Arrow is greeted by Batman, waiting patiently outside of the showers the Dark Knight tends to do. More on that later. Green Arrow is asked to keep the League honest, but the truth is that Arrow decides to stick around because of the co-ed locker rooms after he spies Black Canary slipping on a boot. From here we kick it into the more serious baths on the list that had a lasting impact on the DCAU. While not a traditional bath per se, Victor Freeze's fateful accident in which he was bathed in the chemical substance which turned him into Mr. Freeze shook the animated universe to its core. The effects not only led him to a life of crime, but prolonged his life expectancy way into the 2040s. What was it they say? You either die the villain or live long enough to see yourself become the hero Gotham needs right now. Right? Three. Amanda Waller has always been a force to be reckoned with. Don't let the old age fool you. Back in her prime, this woman was brash, fearless, and ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any member of the Justice League. Solo. So when Batman infiltrated her home to hand her a towel in Doomsday Sanction, it was enough to leave the audience shook. Let's just hope that between this and sneaking in on a naked sleeping Lex Luthor, that billionaire playboy philanthropist Bruce Wayne is clean in the age of me too. Since precedence has already been set for chemical baths, what kind of list would this be if we overlooked the Joker? Formerly a member of the Valestra mob, the gangster sometimes referred to as Jack Napier became the victim of unfortunate circumstance when he took a dive at the Ace chemical plant years ago. The most consistent villain in the DCAU, while he may not not have lived into the 2040s like Freeze, his impact was still felt, whether it be through the Jokers or Royal Flush Gangs, which both find their roots tied to the Clown Prince of Crime. What is that in my mouth? Ew, 
If that's not enough for his placement on the list, without the Joker, we would never have been introduced to Harley Quinn. And without Harley, we never would have gotten Batman and Harley Quinn. And honestly, after that movie, I felt like I needed a long shower to reflect on where things went wrong in my life. Of course, Joker's impact on the DCAU brings us to our number one bath of all time. You've asked for it. You've begged for it. You've left so many comments letting us know how important this bath is to the DC animated fan community that's right you know who bath number one is i'm talking about wait were all those comments left by the same guy okay well i guess let's just toss it into the honorable mentions And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. We've saved the best for last. Here to present our number one bath is our composer, Adam Mullen. What? We talked about this. You're going to read the info for the top bath, remember? What? I just write the music. I don't do these voiceovers. You're wasting so much time. Go! Damn it. Uh, 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 go. R Ray's Al Ghul's Laser Pits? Lazarus. Huh? Lazarus Pits. Lazarus Pits. They're, they're, they're baths. Oh my god. Thanks for watching everyone. Give this video a big thumbs up if you really liked it. Check out the link to our Patreon in the description of this video and help support us so we can create lots more videos like this one. Here's to 100 videos on the channel with many more to come. Be sure to subscribe for more DCAU content from the Watchtower Database. See you, See you next time. time. You're paying me for this, right?